the quarterbacks he played for, just to give people an idea, I mean, David Carr, uh, Case mm -hmm. Keenum, mm -hmm. Ryan Fitzpatrick. I mean, the best quarterback he played with was late, unfortunately, in his career when he got to Indianapolis and finally played with Andrew Luck. I mean, Ryan Mallett, T.J. Yates, Charlie Whitehurst. Like, these were the guys that he was out there doing work with. And the deeper you look into the numbers uh, in, in terms of what kind of career that he had, I, I would say he was because the way I measure a Hall of Famer usually, mm -hmm. or is a Hall of Famer rather, mm -hmm. is how long were you – in the top three at your position, mm -hmm. okay? Were you, when you were on the field, were you somebody that had to be game-planned against? Yeah. And he fit those categories to a T, yep. all right? And we're not talking about a, a period in which he was considered top three for three or four years. We're talking about somebody who, through a 10-season period, yep. from 2004 and 2000 to 2013, yep. as you said, led the NFL in receiving yards, 11,685. Yeah. So he did it a long time with a lot of – average to below average quarterbacks and, and look I know because it, the number it will get much more difficult for wide receivers going forward uh -huh. because of what the passing log records jam. Yep, it's exactly. a log jam and I, and I understand passing. that uh -huh. but I feel like he's somebody that belongs toward the front of the list.